Hey, what's up everyone? We're back with another tutorial in Cubase 9.5. I did a tutorial a couple weeks ago about time stretching and I had a comment from Fezzler61 who said, Home hobbyist, I do covers and like to put the original song on the top track to use as reference. I struggle to then tempo match slash detect my project to the song because many older songs, the tempo drifted. So I want to stretch the original song to one consistent tempo and then build drums, guitar, vocals, etc. How do I do that? Well, I believe the best way to do that is to watch this tutorial because I'm about to show you the way that I would handle something like that. Uh, I know that there may be another way to do it, but who knows? So let's just jump into the software. Bada boom, bada bing. And I'm gonna pull in a track, just drag it in from my file explorer. Uh, a master from my album with my band YDB, I'll link to that in the description or something. Um, and this song is called Top of the Morning. Let me just back it up to the beginning. And one of the keys to tempo detection is uh, starting, killing any like pre-roll. So here I just do a one, two, three, one, two, three. We can listen to it. One, two, three, one, two, three. So I'll start at the first one because if there's this extraneous, uh, extraneous space, the tempo detection doesn't really know how to handle it. So we'll back that up to the first bar. Now we have this whole thing selected. What we can do is just, oh, let me add a signature track. I know that it's in three, as you heard me saying, one, two, three, one, two, three. So I'll add a signature track and see. Sometimes it helps the computer do its tempo detection. If you know the signature and it's anything other than four, four, a lot of times the tempo detection algorithm will just put it as one, four, which sort of makes it relatively easy. Um, so tempo detection. Then we'll just analyze with the track selected. We'll just hit analyze. Oh, let me show you. So in order to get to tempo detection, we go to the project window and there's a little thing that says tempo detection. We just hit that with our track selected, the event that we want to, we just hit analyze. And the tempo track populates itself. Now I'm seeing numbers 56, 56, 57, 58. I think what I want to do is actually multiply that by two because I know that this track is in like 110, 116. And sometimes when it does the tempo detection, it, uh, it'll do half time or it'll do double time. So that gives you these options. So, and we see now when you multiply it by two, this is a drifting tempo track. We did not record this with a metronome. We did it live in the room just because that's the way all badasses do it. And, uh, two, three. And it sounds pretty good to my ears. So there's a couple ways that we could do this. And I'm gonna show you the first way is kind of the way that I would prefer, just because it's easier and there's fewer steps. So let's take a look at that first. So we have our tempo track here. And we want this all to be one thing. So we see that it fluctuates between like 110 and 120, more or less. So let's just choose an arbitrary number to quantize it to, like 118, maybe. So we'll listen to the track real quick. Top of the morning, put a shrimp on the barbie. Let's hop in the lorry and drive to the factory. And we'll just kill all this information. Switch it to 118 here. Oops, 188. Cool. And then we can switch this to musical mode. Boom. Glory and drive to the factory. Have a wee dram of whiskey and drink to St. Patty. And mate, it'll be a good day. I went down to the pub to put out my feelers. And I was looking for the fresh faced Sheila. So with one fell swoop, we've sort of uh, stretched it all to be 118. Uh, but I'll show you a different way to do it if you want to get a little bit more precise. So let's say we wanted to quantize this whole song to about 118 beats per minute. Well, the way that I would do that, and I'm sure there's other ways to do that, let me know in the comments if there's a more efficient way. So you'll just select your selection tool, normal sizing, and I'll just 
set my first bar at 118, and I'll set my last bar right here at whatever, 351. And there's not actually 351 bars. The signature track reverted to 1-4. So I'll set this to 118. And then I'll delete everything in between by selecting it like so. Boom. And we'll set that to 118 there. It got an extra bar in there somehow. Okay, so now I have one tempo, 118, but how do I match this up and get rid of the tempo drift? Well, we'll use something called audio warp, and I explained that in my time stretching. There's a uh, audio warp algorithms, and if I hit control I, I can get to my info line. With this object, I'm using the Elastic Pro standard with time, because I just want to time stretch it. Now, if you watch my video on time stretching, I'll ex I explain what these algorithms do. Elastic Pro Time is probably the best algorithm for this use. And we can zoom in here just so we can see the tempo drift change. Now, what you want to do is have a high grid count. If you do quarter notes or something, it'll quantize every transient to a quarter note. So if you hit quantize, the song will start to sound very weird. <laughs> See, and the problem with the song of three fourths is that there's occasionally a lot of triplets and stuff. So you're gonna maybe get a little few artifacts, but what I would do to ensure a proper uh, 118 time signature for the whole time is choose a high uh, grid count, like 164 or 128, and then it's just sort of smoothing things out. So if we hit quantize again. Out back with the kangaroos. Cool. And if we switch this back to 3 4. I think you'll start to see that. Spin the lorry and drive one, to the two, three, factory. Have a wee dram of whiskey one, two, and drink to say. So with those few steps, you get a version of a song that sort of stays in the 118 range for tempo. Uh, it really levels it out. Now, there may be other methods to level tempo, and if you know them, let me know in the comments, because I certainly wouldn't s claim to know everything. But I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Check out my band, YDB. You can check out my time-stretching video. And hey, take care of yourselves, everyone. Have an awesome day, and peace. But the Irish life is calling me I want to see